the desk. Oh, what the hell? Phew, that was a close one. If I didn't have my flame resistant apron on, I would have been killed. You were killed. You were killed, Rap. What? Your life is well done. Your life is well done. That's awesome. I'm dead. Uh, let's see. Stiff as a frozen foot long. I've experienced with that one. <coughs> uh, sealed up and covered with goo. Sealed up and covered with goo like a canned ham. Yes, yes, he is. I'm not ready to die. I feel my soul is not at peace. Why not? There is something I must do before I pass on. Finish War and Peace? I read that. That was actually really good. Like, you mean finish War and Peace? No. I just have this nagging feeling that I left the gas on in my restaurant. Seriously? It's driving me crazy. Isn't that what killed you? I'll check the gas for you. I'll check the gas for you, Rap. Thanks. Here's the key. Which he somehow has on him, but the ashes didn't have on him. I don't understand. I don't understand, game. What little logic you used. I no longer understand. So, we need to head back to his restaurant. Do you guys remember where his restaurant was? It was up here at the beach. There it is. You can kind of see it in the distance. God, the things that I go through just to get a single map piece. So, let us head over here. And now we can open the door. Hopefully they don't make me use the key. I can just open it. Steaming weenies! Hooray! Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Of course. I have to actually use the key. Steaming weenies. Steaming weenies, in case... Well, in case you didn't remember. Use it on the door. Now let me inside. He did leave the gas on. Use the knob. R one knob turns off all four? I call bullshit on that. Is there anything in it's there? It's open. It's empty. Oh. Except for the baked on weenie juice. Mmm, weenie juice. It's stuck shut with old grease and pork fat. Yeah. Mmm, pork fat. Anything in here? They're empty, but mmm, I can still smell the pickles. Pick them up. Why would I want to carry around big, empty, pickle-soaked barrels? Why wouldn't you? Come on, man. Think outside the box. Outside the barrel. All right, so we are done here once again we have I don't know we put a soul to rest I guess but we have to tell him that we did that otherwise he would never know so back to the cemetery this is pretty much backtracking that you have to do the game is very scattered kind of like an open world RPG kind of kind of you do have like four things that you can do all at once which is nice. Kind of like a proto. Whatever. We're moving on. Ash to life. On the coffin again. Tell me where your map piece is, Rapscallion. Why does it have to load this thing right here? Doesn't make any sense to me. And the hat. Well? Gas was on. You were right. The gas was on. I turned it off. Thanks. I guess where I'm going, I won't need this map anyway. I don't know Thanks. if I want it. Now I can rest in the folds of the earth. Like a steaming weenie in a soft, fresh bun. Ah. That guy is gross. Oh, the thumbs up! Oh, just like, uh... Oh shit. Terminator 2? Was it Terminator 2? It could have been Terminator 1 with the thumbs up as he dies. It was one of the Terminator movies. I remember that. I get them mixed up in my mind sometimes. But we have gotten one map piece, which is nice. Uh, we need to head back <laughs> to that island now. We need to head back to the library. Where do you want to go? Everybody's favorite. We need to go Deep inside LeChuck's Fortress. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, LeChuck, sir. I regret to report that Guybrush has found one of the map pieces, the Big Whoop. 
You will regret it a lot more if he finds another. Stop him at any cost. But remember, I want him alive. Yes, sir. He still walks all funny. What the hell is with that? Creep. Oh, I turned on the old graphics just too late. So we need to go back to everybody's favorite, the library. In order to get this next one started, once again, preparation is key. Yes, I know. You guys love this. But what we need is... No. Yes. Memorize Great Shipwrecks of Our Century. Great Shipwrecks of Our Century. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. Right, and we yeah, are I've had it with this card catalog. We just need the one, thank God. I should read them all again. Ah, oh, I'm just joking. Okay, let's head over here and talk to the librarian again. Uh, pardon me, miss. What do you want this time? I'm looking for a book. I'm looking for a book? What book are you looking for? Do you have great shipwrecks of our century? Yeah, as far as I know, he does... Oh, holy crap, what the hell? <laughs> as far as I know, he does have a line okay. for every single one Here of those. here you go. That's your limit. You'll have to give some books back before you can check out any more. I thought four was my limit. I only have three, don't I? One, two, and then... Three. Yeah. Let's look at this, though. Great shipwrecks of our century. It says here the Mad Monkey sank at 34 north, 89 west. 34 north, 89 west. Those are longitude and latitude measurements. They should be more specific than that, though. Okay, back to Dred's ship. Where do you want to go? We are done preparing here. So, it's back to Scab Island again. I know, I just kind of go back and forth a lot, but... I'm trying to separate them in my mind between all four map pieces and not try not to do too much at once otherwise it, it just gets too weird where you're like uh do i have that yes yes i do so into the bar we go there is a monkey why is there a monkey you're supposed to be cooking uh i took my break it's the law nice try but not good enough you're fired Oh, well. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Crog. Crog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. Temporary library card. Will you accept a temporary library card? Let me see it. Is Guy Brush a French name? No, actually, it's a fictional name. Oh, <laughs> all right. Can I get you that drink now? Uh, yes. Yeah, I could really use it. Name your poison. What do you got? Well, we have some specialty drinks here at the Bloody Lip. Of course like you do. Like Yellowbeard's Baby, Bloody Stump, and Blue Whale. Okay, so this one gets a little complicated. So, I want Yellowbeard's Baby. I'll have Yellowbeard's Baby. Well, you can try, but I don't think nature's on your side. <laughs> Just give me the drink, please. Hey, I have to crack jokes. No, you it's don't. It's a union thing. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. And here's a complimentary crazy straw. We give them to all new customers of the bloody lip. Sweet. And a crazy straw. Love it. Let's drink my hard liquor through a crazy straw. All right, give me another drink. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. I'll have a blue whale. Mix me up a blue whale. Sorry, blender's not big enough. <laughs> oh, but seriously, that'll be one piece of eight. Okay. There seriously. she blows! Alright, uh, you know I might as well get the third drink as well. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. Give me a bloody stump. Give me a bloody stump. I can't. Chainsaw's out of gas. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> hilarious. I yeah, hate I your puns. You're the only one. one piece eight. Okay. Here you go. Okay, that is enough for the nice drinking. place you have here. Well, see ya. Apparently, he does not mind if I take my drink to go. Apparently, Well, there are no cops here, so I guess why not. Let's take a look at my three drinks. I am definitely old enough to have these, totally. It's a yellow drink in a broken glass. That sounds awful. <laughs> 
It's a crazy straw. Of course it is. It's a blue drink in a broken glass. Really? It's a red drink in a broken glass. You have nothing to say about that. Okay, use the yellow drink with the blue drink. Now I have a green drink and an empty glass. It's an empty, broken drinking glass. It's a green drink and a broken glass. You are very insightful here. So now we have uh, Christmas. Let's move on. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I know. We're going back and forth and back and forth. But that is it for here in Wood Tick. We are ready to move on with our drinks, which I am glad to have. And yes, now he needs a new cook, but oh well. I already got paid. How much money do I have left, anyway? There's my banana. I wonder what I need to use a banana for. 350. Still have a ton of money. Hopefully more than enough. So, back to the path. We need to move on yet again. Where do you want to go? Uh, do I need to go to Booty Island, actually? Yes, I do. I did already purchase the ship's horn, though. Don't need to do that again. Let's head over to the east. I think there actually is Something more galleons. for us to see Sighting. here on the okay, island. Okay, now, who's going to be next? We have a spit a contest. great day for spitting. Seriously? Just look at this juicy crowd. That's the crowd. Step up to the line and test your swill. Oh, me, me. I'll give it a try. A volunteer. All right, settle down, folks. This kid looks like a serious contender. What's your name, boy? They call me the Flat Master. <laughs> uh, Ju Juicius Maximus the Third. Captain Lugi? No, no, no. Well, they call me the Flem Master. The Flemster. The Flemalizer. The Master of Flem. Spit away! Uh. I don't think it matters what I say. <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Misfire, misfire, everybody run! Well, so much for the Flem Master. Oh, wow. Let's give him a big hand anyway, folks. At least he tried. Valuable prizes. So, Even a child can do it. Seriously? Yes, In you. fact, they do it very well. That's gross. Let's use Come the crazy on. straw. It's all paid for by Booty Island Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec, very nice. Just put your two lips together and blow. 